When I first saw Dennis Onker's new book, I thought, man, that sucker's shiny. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but let's be honest, we all do. If you don't have some fancy colors and a snappy title, I'm not wasting my energy pulling a book off the shelf because reading's hard and I've got television to watch. But Wooden Boxes lured me in with its glossy pages and vivid photos, and before I knew it, I was hooked like a trout and eager to stretch out on a bed of tartar sauce for a good long read. Now I say read, but nobody actually reads books like this the first time. How could you? With every page, you're enticed and distracted by crisp photographs and handy little margin notes calling out to you with their tips and tricks. It's overwhelming, but in a good kind of way, like one of those Chinese buffets. Dennis Onker's spread is truly all you can pack in, and he won't give you dirty looks for unbuttoning your pants. Think I'm being a little over the top? Perhaps, but you haven't seen the boxes yet. Let's just say that Dennis knows his way around a box. It's rumored that he was raised by one of the finest box-making families in the old country. They discovered him floating as a baby among the reeds in a box he crafted himself, swaddled among rolls of rare veneers. I have it on good authority that he grew up as a dovetailer's apprentice, and he devoted as many as 30 hours a day to his craft. His first shoes were adorable little boxes made from boxwood with flawless box joints. It's said that he even trained as a boxer and never saw defeat. But his book doesn't mention any of this. I suppose he'd rather just let his work speak for itself. And it does speak, loud and clear, with a classy foreign accent. From the serpentine coin box with its burl veneers to the traditional jewelry box with its delicate marquetry, every project is a masterpiece of design and craftsmanship. It's true that after skimming the 233 heavily illustrated pages, some may feel a bit intimidated. There are seven projects, and I couldn't find a single one that I wouldn't want to keep my grandmother's ashes in. Even the simple boxes shouldn't be called boxes at all. They should be called something like compartmentalized dream cubes and filled with delicate Fabergé eggs. Six of them feature some sort of complex inlay work, and the seventh is topped with a carved motif. Can a regular woodworker ever hope to actually build one of these beauties? Of course you can. What do you think all those nice glossy pages are for? Dennis has filled them with details, walking you through cut by cut, joint by joint, box by box. With full color images and easy to follow instructions, he shows you how to select your materials, lay out your joinery, apply your veneers and inlays, even how to achieve a flawless finish. It's like he's standing in your shop, looking over your shoulder as you work. Except he's not actually looking over your shoulder, because that would be irritating, especially if he's one of those heavy breathers. The point I'm making is this. Wooden Boxes is unlike any box making book I've ever read. The projects are advanced, but the instruction is top notch and the skills you'll learn will make you a vastly better woodworker. I am definitely gonna build some of these on the Stumping Ups workshop, and if I can do it, you can too.